Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Live event where we're going to discuss some of the new features of the Surface Hub 2S in the 85 in. So basically I'm trying to use uh, the Microsoft Teams Live event feature. I'm producing everything myself here at my home office. So please bear with me if not everything is working properly from the start. Um, I will though be able to do uh, both the recording, the producing and also the presentation. So maybe we mess everything up or maybe it would work uh, out OK. So let's see how everything is working out. Um, looking at the newest member of the Surface Hub family or actually just the Surface family since this is the new newest products of the Surface family. We have known it will come for quite a while, but now it's actually announced that it will be available in January 2021, and that will be in wave one, which will mean uh, US and Canada and looking for us in the Nordics and the rest of the Europe. We will probably not see the Surface Hub 2S in the 85 inch before uh, before February at least. So let me try to change to the next slide. There we go. So basically we will now see the 85 inch side by side with the 50 inch. The things that you need to be aware of since it's it's basically the same unit, but we have a three by two dimension on the 50 inch panel and on the uh, 85 inch we now have a 16 by 9 inch so basically we are back to the regular format on the LFDs so probably that will mean that a lot of people will make it more easy to work with and some people ask me why don't we keep the 3 by 2 format in the 85 inch and since then we will have quite a high um, surface hop in an 85 inch it will not be available in that size so 16 by 9 make much more sense when we use it in an 85 inch model microsoft is talking about the social distancing in this covid 19 and of course everybody would need an 85 inch in this covid times well joe Aside, I think it's still a good idea when you first have tried to work on an 85 inch display. It's really nice and you will get much more productive. Another thing is that if you both have the video feed and the content feed at the same time, sometimes if you're in a large room, the 15 display will be a bit too small. But though you can use the new coordinated join experience on the MTRs and the Surface Hub, which we will come back to in a few minutes. There's a lot of information about how we should work these new times in the COVID, but basically what I have always talked to my customers about is that we will always have meetings where somebody is not in the meeting room. Now it's just a lot more that will work on different locations. So basically working from home is not that different for me because I'm I'm used to work with video conferencing, but we need to be aware that a lot of people is not used to work with video. So for instance, if you walk up and use a analog whiteboard in the meeting room, people on the remote distance will feel like they are not really part of the meeting anymore. And basically that is a quite another experience when you work with the uh, Surface Hub and especially the 85 inch where you, you will have the Microsoft whiteboard nice and big. Looking at the field of view on the cameras, it's still a 90 degree field of view. So basically it's completely the same camera as we have on the 50 inch display. So Although now we are able to have like a, a longer distance that we could work with since the height of the display would be much more efficient when you're looking at uh, a bit more far distance. 
uh, no matter what, we are still working with the Surface Hub up here. So basically the Surface Hub invites people to join the Surface Hub and work together. That is basically also where the microphones work the best. Normally we say that the Surface Hub works around eight meters away with the microphones. But if you're looking at the uh, certification from Teams, it is stating that the microphones is working up to 2.3 meters away. So even though you have eight uh, array microphones in the Surface Hub 2S, both on the 50 inch and the 85 inch, it would be preferred if you invite people to the Surface Hub and it's not really about the microphones, it's more or less how we, the waves from the way we are speaking. So the microphones don't go out and pick up something it is the waves from uh, the audio when we are speaking, and there will be a huge difference if you are one meter away, or for instance, if you are five meters away. So of course there will be a difference. So please be aware that the, the closer you are to the mic, it will be better. And normally I say, please don't be much more than 2.5 meters away from a microphone, or then at least, and look into adding some more microphones. If you're looking at the complete story from the Surface Up, around five years ago, we launched the Surface Up uh, version one in Denmark. So the 55 inch was the first one, and then the 84 inch. And it had like these two cameras, so one camera on each side with a field of view on around 110. So even wider than the camera that we have right now. And it was actually also able like standing just on the side of the surface up. You were still able to be picked up uh, by the camera since the field of view was very wide. But also because there was like a camera on each side. So depending on which side you were standing on, it was picking up from that side. So if you were on this case, the right side of the surface up, it was using the left camera. Teams doesn't support multiple camera as of now, so it is just one camera with the field of view on uh, 90 degrees. Uh, it, I still think it's worked perfectly, so it doesn't really bother me. It's it's down to one camera, so it's it's still really nice, and it will be the same experience on the 85 inch. Although that the Surface Hub is now even thinner even lighter so for you installing the surface hub would really be happy since it's it's not that heavy dude anymore it's not the 130 kilos anymore it's around 85 kilo which uh, make it a lot more easy to work around with and looking at the way we could mount the surface up we have three ways we could mount the surface up so here we got the steel case stand with the tack board on the back of the unit. And we do also have the wall mount with uh, support, with the floor support, and then also just a regular uh, wall mount. So there will be like these three different kind of options to do the installments, unless you want to go with a third party mount, and that is basically up to you. You need to be aware of the uh, Visa uh, mounts on the 50 inch, it's uh, 350 by 350, and on the 85 inch, it is 600 by 600. So this is the mounting options, and we still have the PC, which could, or the the PCU cartridge that you call it, screw uh, one but one screw out, and then you can could actually. Uh, disconnect the complete uh, PC cartridge down here. We still got the same uh, connectors on the bottom of the PC. So you got the RG45 for network, you got the USB A for either a keyboard, if you want to have that as a USB uh, dongle, or you could actually use the USB C for connecting your PC if you want to run a program that is not. Uh, optimized for the Surface Hub or not available in the Microsoft Store. And then you will have the regular HDMI input. 
But this one, we also have a mini display port out. So if you want to connect to, for instance, a projector, you will be able to have like town hall meetings running everything in Surface from the Surface Hub with the Teams meeting, the Teams live event, but then you will be able to pro project everything from the Surface Hub up to a really nice uh, screen with the normal projector or even just uh, mirror the display uh, to some other slave monitors if you want to do that. The packaging is really nice. It's like the 84 inch version one. It comes on wheels, so you will be able to roll uh, the surface up all the way in. So you don't need to unpack the surface up uh, before you are actually in the meeting room. And if you want to go into a lift, it is also able to fit into most lifts. It's um, this side we are actually able to install or uh, transport the surface up um, so you're actually able to rotate the surface up which was not allowed to do that on the hub version one so now on the surface up 2s we are also able to run it like a regular pc so for instance if you have a surface up 2s in your own office, um, you could run it as your own device. It will be like a regular PC, Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. But please be aware, when you install this image, you will not have access to the Surface Hub OS. So it's not the same experience if you have guests that needs to run any meeting on the device. It will be your own device uh, in that matter. But when you add the Surface Hub into the Pro Enterprise Edition, you will also be able to have um, the option of adding uh, a USB fingerprint uh, reader on the side of the Surface Hub. So there we got it. So it's it basically just a USB fingerprint device that you will buy, add it to the Surface Up, sign in, and then connect your hello to your fingerprint, and then you will be able to, to use it like that. Pretty nice if you have your own device that you don't need to sign in all the time when you go up to the Surface Up and you want to use it. Just put your finger in there, and then you will sign in to the device with hello. Some of the new features that we will see with the new Windows 10 Teams 2020 update is now that we are able actually to use the Azure AD. So now it will work with uh, the single sign on. So you don't will have issues like we had before with the workplace join, which was not working perfect perfectly. You will also be able to see that we have conditional access support and now also you don't need to be a global admin to have access to the settings as well. Some of the other, other meeting experience that you will have as a user is that you have coordinated you join with Microsoft Teams rooms. So imagine that you have a Surface Hub in the reading room and you want to, or you for instance have a Surface Hub on a steel case card and you want to add that to the meeting, you can set up a coordinated join. So set it on, on the MTR device, add the device account from the Surface Hub to the MTR and vice versa, and then um, enable a coordinated join on the, your MTR. And then you need to do a provisioning file, uh, for instance, on Windows Configuration Designer and set up the provisioning file, add it to the Surface Hub, and then you will be able to do coordinated join which is really nice. So in that case, you will use the MTR, uh, the great cameras, the great speakers, and then the best from the Surface Hub using it as a content screen, but also working with uh, the Surface Hub pen and the Microsoft whiteboard. So that is working perfectly together. Uh, dueling support and also in improvements on um, the mirror cast options and also FIDO2 if you want to do that. Uh, if your organization is, is using FIDO2, 
you will be able to use FIDO2 as a sign-in option as well. So this is the Surface Hub 2 S devices that we have right now, the 50 inch and the 85 inch model coming in wave two in Europe and in the Nordics, probably in February, and you will see it in US and Canada in wave one in January 2021. So thanks for watching. I just want to give you this short updates on the Surface Hub 2S and a few features from the Windows 10 team 2020 update, which will arrive very soon. If you want to connect, please go and hook up on Connect on LinkedIn or search for my name, Lars Barrow, on YouTube. I do have some videos on a lot of Microsoft stuff, both on the Surface Hub, the MTRs, and, and other collaboration solution. So thanks for watching. See you out there. Bye.